In adding a new partner in the San Jose Sharks, a valuable one was retained as well. This morning at a news conference, the Stockton Thunder and Edmonton Oilers re-upped their affiliation. And one of the men who spoke in it joins me now in Oilers Assistant General Manager, Rick Oldchick. Rick, what does this day mean to you and the Oilers? Well, Mike, it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a great, uh, great situation for us, again, to renew our affiliation with Stockton. We've had a lot of uh, great years here, uh, professionals that's uh, been shown to us on and off the ice, and now to be uh, associated with uh, a, gr a great organization like the San Jose Sharks makes it uh, that much more special. There's it's much more than just you shuttling players in and out. There are relationships, of course, being retained and built as well in this affiliation. Uh, what's worked so well in that department between you and Stockton? Well, I think first and foremost, it starts with uh, Matt Thomas, the head coach. He does a heck of a job for uh, the Thunder. And in terms of we have uh, the utmost confidence and faith in, in uh, placing our uh, prized assets and our players uh, down in Stockton. We know they're going to get special care. They're going to learn. They're going to develop. And they're going to learn to win. And that's what Matt has shown over the last uh, couple of years. Over the course of the last three seasons, there's been the challenge in getting players back and forth from here to Springfield. So how does a new post having that in, o in Oklahoma City compare to the last three seasons? Well, again, we, we really had a real good relationship with the folks in Springfield. Um, just for, There's a number of reasons why we ended up going to Oklahoma City. First and foremost, as you tipped on, was the uh, the proximity to Edmonton. So it'll make it a lot easier in terms of recalls and, and whatnot. Um, and again, just continues that, and it makes it a little bit easier, too, for us to, to move guys to Stockton uh, that may need that extra time to play and develop um, and would certainly help out Stockton. So that's going to be a lot easier for everybody in this in this situation. We've all become accustomed to seeing one crop come in and succeed, then move up and seeing the next crop come in uh, a year later. What so far have you learned about this next crop coming in for the 2010 and 11 season? Well, I'll tell you, we're, we're very blessed and fortunate to have some very uh, highly skilled, talented players. And, uh, you know, I think competition is going to be at its utmost uh, uh, height here in a number of years in the Edmonton organization, so which is great. We want that. We want that intra-competition. We want to instill that culture of guys, uh, you know, worried about looking over their shoulders a little bit. Uh, and, and it's good. It's healthy. And it just makes everybody uh, to play at their utmost uh, uh, talent will, will allow them to. It's your first time in Stockton. What are your overall impressions here? Well, the people have been great. Uh, great, great turnout here at the press conference. Uh, very exciting about that. Heard oh, nothing but fond things of, of here in the area. Uh, the rink is outstanding, the facility. So, again, just to see it, that not only, uh, you know, again, spend some time here with Matt Thomas and uh, get, get to see that our, our players are being well taken care of and well provided for down here. And believe me, that's uh, much appreciated.